Make sure you download OneFootball. It's the best app to get all your latest football news and live updates. Welcome to another episode of FIFA History. Today we are back playing FIFA 15. So we've done FIFA 08 all the way up to today, which is FIFA 15. So if you want to check out any of the videos, they are on the channel. Now, taking a look at the reviews for FIFA 15, at the time I got an 8 out of 10 from GameSpot, an 8.3 out of 10 from IGN, and a 78% from PC Gamer. We're going to see if it lives up to those scores in 2019 and see if it's still worth a play almost five years later. Now, if you're new to the channel and you want to see more FIFA history videos, FIFA 20 news, FIFA 19 stuff, and football news, make sure you subscribe today. Hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss anything. Also, if you want to support the channel, there's merch available. There's also a link down in the description to buy some real-life Ultimate Team cards. Every purchase does directly support the channel, so I do appreciate it. All right, so I'm going to do what I usually do, and that is explore every part of this game again. And uh, I think the servers are still working. So if you want to play online in FIFA 15, I think you can. We will take a look at that later on in the video. Let's start with the practice arena. That's where we usually start for every episode. And uh, this one was hidden behind the skill games feature. Let's open it up. Basically, you get the same setting as FIFA 14. But in the other games, you could have uh, different sort of things you could do in the practice arena. In this game, if I press the options button, it's basically select sides or exit. There's no creator set piece. There's no practice game. These are features that were in older games. FIFA 14 had it. And then EA has removed it over the last uh, years since FIFA 15, which is not good. Alright, so here's the catalog for FIFA 15. We can actually take a look at this because it's uh, still online. And there's gameplay, there's ultimate team and all that stuff. Basically, uh, I've unlocked a lot of things. So everything is going to be in the owned tab. But there's still the 80 zero boots and stuff. I remember the 80 zeros. And then there's also the classic kits. Look at that. And then those World Cup balls. Look at that. I remember that one. The 2002 ball. 80 zero F50s. Career mode stuff. Um, another historic kit. They've got rid of the historic kits in FIFA 19 as well. So these were very cool. You could use them in career mode and stuff as a second jersey option. Pretty much your standard catalog. We've got the Nike boots, some celebrations. You can buy some historic kits, coin boosts as well, the all-star teams, all that kind of stuff. I've pretty much unlocked the main stuff already. Here's a look at FIFA 15 Ultimate Team. Finally, I can show you some online stuff because the servers are still on. If you want to play a game, I think you can, but depends if there's anyone even online around the world. Uh, there's your store there. You can still buy packs if you want to give EA your money. You can buy FIFA points still. Look at this. The packs are always available, man. Look at that, $151 for 10,000 FIFA points. Unbelievable. Like, you know how many pizzas I could eat for 150 bucks? There's almost 11,000 items still on the market available for purchase. There's still some people around trying to trade on FIFA 15. Here's a look at my FIFA 15 team. Now, I didn't go hard out on Ultimate Team. Probably played about 60, 70 games max in FIFA 15. And, you know, this team could get the job done. We had Balotelli and Sturridge up front. Schurler on the left when he played for Chelsea. Walcott on the right. Probably wouldn't have half this team in FIFA 19 Ultimate Team if I was playing that. But at the time, you know, if you, if you don't have money to spend, you know, you have to do the budget teams. And this was a budget team for sure. Anyway, let's take a look at career mode. We have Brendan Rodgers as manager and then Eden Hazard as the player career mode. Let's take a look at manager career mode first. Here's a look at career mode and just like FIFA 14, it borrowed the same sort of template. FIFA 19 isn't too different to this. A few different tile layouts and stuff, but the main features are still there. We've actually lost some features and gained some features in different areas, but basically the whole foundation has been the same for a couple of years now, but you guys know that already. You could do play match, sim match, global transfer network there. But yeah, we had the squad report and squad ranking. There was also the kit numbers tab and also the injury list tab, which showed you all the players in the league that were injured for different teams. Of course, there was the funds request feature. We're missing that in FIFA 19 career mode unless you install the mod that I showed you last week. And the rest is sort of the same. There's nothing really else that's different. Here's a look at player career mode. There's nothing really that I can show you that's different to FIFA 19's one. A cool feature that we had back in the day was the game face feature. You could scan your face, upload it online, and then you could download it onto your game and use it on your pro. We don't get this in FIFA 19 anymore. But the rest of the customization is pretty much the same. It's basically what we're used to. 10 people are playing seasons at the moment in FIFA 15. 10 people. All right, so let's play a game of FIFA 15. Let's see what it's like to come back and play it after so many years. It's going to be a Champions League match, or should I say Champions Cup? We don't have the Champions League in FIFA 15. Um, I think this was the year they did all the Premier League stadiums and stuff as well, so I can't really remember, but I think it was one of these years. All right, so I have to try out my career mode team again, just to bring back the memories. I haven't played a game with this team in a long time. Lukaku, Walcott up top, Bale, Nani, Pogba, and Vidal. Shaw, Varane, Smalling, and Raphael. Shaw's a bit down, actually. Uh, let's put another left back in. 
All right, so this is going to be a match against AC Milan. We're playing on legendary difficulty as well. Let's check the goal news. You can set it for different kinds of uh, Champions League matches that are going on at the same time. And then let's get into it and let's see what the game plays like. Oh, I can't go back to the Champions Cup branding after having the Champions League in the game. It just doesn't feel right. It doesn't look right. You appreciate the Champions League license so much more when you go back to the games that didn't have it. All right, so immediately you feel a bit of a difference with the touch and stuff. Uh, it's a bit different to FIFA 19, but we're playing on Legendary. Let's see how we go here. Let's take a look at some player faces. De Gea still has the same face. Raphael probably still has the same. Smalling still has the same. Varane, I think he's got a different face now. Uh, Rojo, here's a look at Paul Pogba's face. I still remember when he had that hairstyle. Uh, who's next? We've got Nanny there, and we've got Bale. He's got an old face there. And Walcott, I think he still has the same face. I could be wrong. And then Lukaku definitely has the same face. Some people on Reddit and stuff say that FIFA 15 is all about the pace. I probably have to agree that you need a certain amount of pace to actually compete in this game. Otherwise, your players are going to be too, too slow, but that's a nice interception. Here's Walcott. I'll show you how dangerous this guy is. This guy can score anytime, anywhere, and he already grabs his first one six minutes in. I can't believe Walcott was this good in FIFA 15. Like... He absolutely killed the game in my career mode, man. He was scoring like 30 plus goals a season. And he had the pace too up front. You couldn't catch him and his finishing wasn't too bad as well, man. I actually miss using these players in this team because you have some great memories with a squad or with a team in career mode. And then the next game comes out and you don't really want to touch the old games anymore. Falls to Montalivo on the edge of the box. It gets blocked and he heads it back. Why didn't he just head it into the goal? Why did he pass it back to Torres? I think over the last few years, FIFA 15 gameplay is still my favorite. I, I just never had any issues with it. Like, FIFA 16 had some passing issues at the start, and then they patched it, sort of. But FIFA 15 was pretty consistent. It kept me coming back throughout the whole year. What is he doing there, Pogba? What are you doing, buddy? He actually lost his bearings. Take a look at this. Pogba's on the ball, and he just goes walkabouts. What are you doing, mate? What are you doing? <laughs> Imagine if that happened in FIFA 19. People would say it's like scripting or something. Look at this. He just goes walkabouts. Here's Honda. Whips in the cross. Can we get rid of it? Oh, what a save by De Gea. Here's Torres. Plays it to Montari, who puts in a cross. Oh, it's a goal. Well done, Bonaventura. It was about time as well. AC Milan turned on the pressure, and I felt the goal was coming. Here's Lukaku. Look at the dribbling. The dribbling feels so good. Like, it just doesn't feel clunky. doesn't feel robotic. just works the way it, it always should work. Let's lay it off. Here's Vidal. Let's have a shot. Oh, I thought that went in. I thought I was dipping, man. These these long shots are crazy in this game because they always dip in the last second. Look at this. We've won it again. Gareth Bale's made a run. What a ball. Can we get a shot off here? Gareth Bale, what a goal. Beautiful finish with the left foot as well. I mean, he is left-footed. And Pogba cuts it out. We've got five minutes of added time in the first half. Let's lay it off here. Oh, ref. He absolutely murdered him. Look at that. I love how they like give him the push as well. But yeah, it feels like an absolute pleasure to come back and play this game again um, everything still feels very nice even though there's a few issues here and there but no game is perfect man I really need to play FIFA 15 more man especially now that FIFA 19 is dying off I really enjoy this gameplay look at those touches look at those touches oh my goodness but yeah let me know if you played FIFA 15 before if you've played it at a friend's house or you actually own the copy um, and let me know your thoughts on it you know did you enjoy it did you hate it Oh, look at this. He's passing straight to Lukaku. Let's lay it off to Gareth Bale. No, he stuffed that one up. Look at that run. Look at that run. It's Walcott. Oh, he was so quick in this game. It's impossible to catch him. And I just made a mess of that. Referee, though. Oh, yeah, we got the penalty. But, yeah, this was the old penalty system, the easy version with the composure system and stuff. You had to hit it in the green and then pick your side. I'm probably going to miss this. Actually, that's a good penalty. Here's Walcott. Look at the pace on this guy. Look at the pace on this guy. You cannot catch him. Look at this. He's like a rabbit, man. Look at this. Here's Gareth Bale. Cut inside. Chip it over the keeper. Oh, I thought that was going to be a beautiful goal. As the game comes to an end, it's been an absolute pleasure to come back and play FIFA 15. Probably my favorite episode in the series so far. I have some great memories of this game, but coming back today made me fall in love with it again. If you have FIFA 15, I suggest you just put the disc back in and play it. Give it one more game with your favorite career mode side because it's definitely worth the time. Especially this time of the year as well. Let's see if I can score with Bale. Oh, that was close. Anyway, that was the last kick of the game. I hope you did enjoy. Make sure you subscribe for more FIFA history videos if you enjoyed this one. We're going to be taking a look at FIFA 16 very, very soon. 
And uh, if you need something else to watch, make sure you click the card in the middle. It'll take you to my FIFA history playlist where you can watch all the episodes up until now. I'll see you next time.